What is up, gents? Dirtbag Gaming here, the channel for Casual Raiders. Uh, we're going to talk about the new guy coming out. So my clan is freaking out over this new fusion. I honestly haven't even looked at him yet. Everybody keeps talking about him. So I thought we'd give a little quick uh, shout out to basically everybody that told me to go look at him. So I got him uh, pulled up in the background here. We're going to go over the skills, what you're going to need to really do it, pre prepare, all that fun stuff. But uh, it's supposedly a must have uh, besides Brogni. Brogni, people saw him and they're like, ah, he's, he's pretty cool. But now he's used everywhere. Like if I had two Brogni's, I would be so happy. Um, but we only have one. And I use him for clan boss. So this is the guy, uh, Helicath. Let me pull this up for you guys. So Helicath looks freaking awesome. Uh, let me pull this down. Yeah, he's a uh, demon spawn, defensive champion. Just looks like Ultron, kinda. Like a demon Ultron. Uh, his aesthetics are probably badass in the game. But uh, any, anytime you have defense type champions, we always tell you this, like you can really use them anywhere. They're, they're just so clutch for almost everywhere in the game. But he looks friggin' awesome. So let's go over it. Uh, most of the champions are releasing now, kind of gearing them towards Hydra, which I, I really appreciate it. Like the free champion they just released, I'm, I can't wait to gear her up. She's literally made for Hydra, so I will make a video on her. Um, and then the other fusion that we just had before this guy, uh, also made for Hydra. Like he, the provoke is, is going to be awesome. I have to gear him up. Uh, so there's a lot, a lot of champs that we have to get up here. A lot of legendaries coming out here, but this one free to play. Definitely want to get him. I don't even know what he does. Let's go over what he does. So attacks one enemy two times. Um, AOE, cha AOE champions on the A1 are really good for Hydra, uh, but he got, he has attack one enemy two times. Each hit has a 30% chance of placing a 25% weakened debuff for two turns and ignore shield and block damage buffs. So that's gonna be cool. Uh, supposedly this guy hits hard. So being able to ignore the shield and doing damage to get you guys out of Hydra will definitely be good. Uh, attacks all enemies on the A2. Places a shield buff on all allies for two turns. The value of the shield is proportion to this champion's defense. So it's kind of like the um, Valkyrie shield that everybody's talking about. So it's probably going to go down to a three turn cooldown. Like you see the, those cooldowns, they're, they're usually not accurate. It's like starts there. And then when you book them out, it goes down. So that's probably going to three turn shield. So imagine having a shield up with Brogni being able to extend, like it, it's going to be insane. Like uh, Valkyrie, it's very hard to bring Valkyrie in there because when the boss steals the counterattack buff and then spreads that, they all have counterattack. It's just it's not 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 fun. But uh, being able to have a shield and then extending it with Brogni and not being able to take it with high resistance, it's gonna be fun. So that's cool. Attacks all enemies and places a shield. Uh, active effect place a block damage buff. Block damage buff on all eyes for two turns. Block what? So it's active effect. Place a block damage buff on all eyes for two turns. That's on a six turn cooldown. Probably goes down to a four turn cooldown, which is which is pretty long. But whenever a block damage buff placed by this ally, by this champion is removed, stolen, or expired, plays a 60% increased defense buff on that, that ally. So he's just increasing everybody's defense like the entire time, that's pretty cool. So the active effect, he places a block damage buff. The passive effect is whenever a block damage buff placed by this ally is removed, stolen, or expires, then they put up increased defense, that's pretty cool. Um, and finally increases this champion's defense by 5% for each ally under a block damage buff. So what, five guys, six guys, like 30% always has increased defense. Uh, counter attacks with the default skill whenever an ally is hit while under block damage buff. Uh, it can only occur once per enemy attack. Okay, so he's basically always going to get the counter attack. He, he hits twice with it. Um, ignoring shield and block damage buff. So that's his passive. So he has one AOE attack, which is probably on a, a three turn cooldown. If it's on a two turn cooldown, that'd be ridiculous. But it's on a three turn cooldown. So he's gonna have that up most of the time for the AOE. And then he could put up a block damage buff on all eyes for two turns. Hmm. Whenever a block damage buff 
placed on an ally by the champion is removed, stolen, uh, or expires, then they put up an increased defense. Okay. Uh, for an ally for two turns. So, uh, passive increases the champion's defense by 5% uh, for each ally. So, he, innately, he's always going to have an extra, what, 30% defense most of the time? So, an extra 30% defense. Uh, and he'll counterattack anytime somebody's attacked under the, the... And that's just his passive. So, that's pretty cool passive. Increases ally defense in all battles. That's good. By 30%. So, I don't know. I think, I think he's going to be... Very good for Hydra. I think his shields are going to be <laughs> ridiculously big. Uh, you should probably start using your Valkyrie gear sets and, and getting it ready for this guy. But that is the champion. I think he obviously is going to be worth it. Anytime you have a chance to do a uh, fusion or a summoning event or not uh, a fusion or a... What's the other one called? Fusion or... The other thing. Uh, they, they don't even do it anymore. But... Anytime you have a chance to do it, and even if you're free to play, try and do it as much as you can. How you do it, we're going to go over some tips on how to really save up for it. Um, I think I missed once or one or two of them. One, I was away and didn't really look feel like looking at my phone. Um, the other one, I was kind of brand new. It was when Foley was getting fused. So I didn't do Foley when I, when I was brand new. But uh, how to prepare for this. Now... Every single day, we have this free thing. Uh, these these are pretty cool packs that they're giving away right now. But I don't try and buy a lot. I bought the anniversary pack because it had like the books, two sacreds, a couple other things, and a bunch of energy. So this was a pretty good deal. This is probably one of the best deals I've seen in a while. Um, I don't really buy any of these. Uh, why? Uh, but the mini packs. So you get one of these mini packs every single day. You get the energy one, and then you get that one that we just saw. But it stays in here for like 99 days. So I try and save up as many of these brews as I possibly can. Um, from those 99 days, I try not to use my brews uh, and then obviously saving up gems. So try not to use them just for every single day. So saving up brews like that every single day will definitely help for these types of events. I think I have some of them in here that are a little bit older, like this one was Started at 96 days, so this one is, what, 12 days old uh, that I haven't used these. The other ones that I had a while ago were, were 26 days old, so I just used the most recent ones, or the ones that I had saved up the longest at the bottom. So I just used those recently for the last fusion. Um, another way to save up is anytime you have these, like the monthly, uh, the weekly, like you have these two that you get every single week, uh, you save these up, to have extra energy and then you have the extra xp boost as well um which then you can get a uh ancient shard every single week but mainly you're doing it for these two so if you want to send a champion it's not too hard you just kind of go to any one of your you know smaller champions it doesn't have to be one that you're keeping like if you just go to like this blue guy it only costs these two to ascend it and then boom you just you just got <laughs> you just got this and then you save it and then upgrade a champion to rank four. So you basically just have like one of your food, food that you're trying to level up, rank it up. So we'll just like level up for some, <laughs> get rid of the cold heart. All right, so we level that up. Boom, now we just have uh, two brews ready to go. And you want to make sure that you're doing your dailies every single day. So doing your dailies, get this up to five. Now what you could do is if you know that, you, that you're at five or you're about to be five, like let's say tomorrow uh, is going to be my fifth day. I'll use or I'll save these two and then when the event starts you can basically use these two uh, use this claim it and then it resets it so basically you get four brews in a matter of two minutes that's an easy way uh, to do that and then the monthly it takes a little bit harder fighting classic arena 150 times but I'm going to be saving this until I really need it because I still have 25 more days till I claim the um the monthly thing so i'll have an extra 200 there dailies it's pretty simple like don't use this until you're about to either reset or if you're just doing like your dailies you can use that um the advanced same thing so during clan vs clan and like 3v3 i think the hardest one on here is the the 3v3 battles um yeah, like tag team arena with four different finis. This is the easiest way to get these when you're doing clan vs clan or you have a really crappy like defensive team and then everybody has 
one person as their defense. That's probably the easiest way to do these advanced quests, which then you can get uh, this, this brew and an extra 50 right there. Another good thing is if you have Doom Tower coming up and you know that this one is energy, um, obviously you're gonna wanna do it because it's daily, but you can save it for when the fusion starts and then boom, you already have that energy, which then you'll have another one the next day or the same day if you do it the same day. So you get energy from there. Clan boss, um, you don't really get a lot of energy from there or any energy. Faction Warriors don't really need to do that. So that's, that's really that. So how to prepare for it really is to make sure that now since it's a, a fusion, you just have to make sure you're doing the tournaments. So every single time there's gonna be events and tournaments you want to kind of plan it out once you hit the tournament threshold to get you your your shards you don't have to do the tournament anymore you can stop you can save your energy you can do whatever you have to do so a good one is i guess the uh, artifact enhancement event you can prepare an artifact enhancement event by leveling up a bunch of gear like this is an example this guy has one, two, three, four, five level 15s ready to go. So that way when the artifact enhancement event comes up, I can level up all these level 15 gear and then boom, I already probably have the um, the shards ready to go. And then you don't have to focus on it. Like it lasts three days. So if you do it within the first half an hour to an hour uh, of looking at it, you don't have to worry about it the rest of the time. So anytime you have the dungeons that you have to do, you might have to do like Ice Golem, Dragon, Spider, uh, Fire Knight, whatever it may be. Have your teams ready to go. Do the, the Fire Knight, whatever you need to do. Um, and then once you do it enough times to get you your points, boom, you don't have to do Fire Knight anymore. Just stop, save, save your stuff, and start farming. So another thing you can farm to prepare, I guess you don't have to do this anytime because it's fusion, but we used to have to farm the keeps to have uh, uh, potions ready to go because without having potions, you can't fuse, fusion. You can't uh, fuse the guys together to get the uh, champion. But they, 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 don't, they haven't done that in a while. But um, yeah, so, so that's another thing. What else can you do pr to prepare? Uh, have your food ready to go. So there are events in here that you have to level up champions. So I have a ton of champions that I've been leveling up because really nothing to do right now. So you have a, a ton of food champions ready to go. I have a video that I'm sure a lot of you guys are already seen. Uh, the fastest way to level them up is getting your um, ones to twos with brews and then twos to get them level up to 20 and then level up to 30. So having all of these just ready to go, you probably don't have to save your twos. You can probably burn your twos and get rid of all of your ones and twos. So that way you have room to farm for threes. Because then if you, have, if you have all of your threes already leveled up, ready to go, it'll be very, very quick for that uh, event. I think the hardest event is going to be this, where you have to summon stuff. So the summoning event is, is definitely one of the hardest, most expensive and intense things to save up for the game. But the best way to do it is just save it. Don't, don't try and do like the times two or times ten when there's really nothing going on. Like we just had the double summoning event um, for the legendaries. A lot of people got some good legendaries, but then you blew what 50, a hundred of your saved up ancient shards when that could have been for this fusion and this fusion, again, we're all telling you now definitely want to prepare for it. So a good way is if you really need 500 extra, uh, summoning, you, you're just burning your, uh, <laughs> your, your, these green ones and you're just burning, uh, what, 500 of them. Like if you have to, just, just burn it. And then what you do to make, make room, you obviously fill up all of your vault. So you throw the guys in that you're not really needing right away into your vault. Like we don't need a lot of these guys. We don't need these people, these guys. I don't think we need these guys. Her, we don't need the bum people, this guy. So basically you're just trying to fill up your vault, get that up to, I have an extra almost 80 slots I can put in there. So it frees up 80, 80 spaces. And then when I go to, I don't know, one of my people when I'm trying to level up or I'm trying to stay, uh, make room, is you go to your level ones and you just start doing this. So you're kind of using resources, but you're using them in a smart way to get more food. This is what my, my video is about. So if you haven't seen it, which again, I'm probably, you should probably have this 40,000 people that saw it. Uh, you kind of level this up 
and you do it quickly and you just kind of save on resources and you just make food. And if you really are low on brews, you could just use these guys to level it up. But you go through here, you get all these, and this is just making us room in our, uh, our vault. And again, you could probably, what should we call it? Oh, I don't have any more ones. So you probably go to your twos and you get rid of all your twos because this doesn't get us a lot of points. Like when you level up your twos, you get like 20 to 30 points. It's not a lot of points, so it's not really worth the time. I'd rather level up my threes than my twos during the event. So spend time now by doing farming, uh, getting the experience up, leveling up these guys, just so you have uh, people ready to go for that tournament or event or whatever they do. Champion training event, that's really what it's called. Uh, another big tip for that event, which I'm sure a lot of you guys know for CBC, is don't level up your five stars um, until that event. And what I mean by that is if you have a bunch of five stars, like legendaries. A lot of us might have legendaries that are just kind of sitting there. Like if we have a bunch of legendaries that we don't really use, but they're five stars, you kind of level them up to level 32, 33, and you get a crap ton of points for, and you can do that pretty quickly too. So most of my five stars are already leveled up because that's what I do for a CVC. But when you get to a five star, this is what I mean. So you go to your tavern, you go to your five stars. Um, let's just pretend this guy we don't have let's pretend all right this chick so let's pretend she's level one so i would go to my bruise and i would go to 13 and i would just hit upgrade and then that takes them to level 32 instantly and i think you get like three or four hundred points boom like that and you do that for all your five stars even the food so we don't have a lot of five star food that isn't leveled up like all these four stars um right here are going to turn into five stars and then once they're five stars, you level them up to at least 32 before you use them to level up a six star. And why you do that is because you get a lot of points for doing that. So that's another tip on how to really go up fast and save your resources is level up these guys, uh, use them as, or level them up to you know five star. And then when this guy's a five star, you go to your, uh, your brews and you use 13 brews, get them up to 32 or 33. And then that's 400 points in your pocket. Super easy, super quick. Um, and yeah, so, and obviously you're gonna be doing the daily for more energy. There's really nothing else energy that you could be doing, saving your gems um, if you really need more energy. But that's, that's gonna be the easiest thing. So again, I would definitely be using this guy or waiting to fuse this guy. I think this guy is gonna be awesome. Uh, Hydra is definitely our, especially our clan's focus on right now. We just got up to Brutal. Um, and yeah, we're, we're downing hard and Nightmare every single time. So we got to get some more people going on hard this week. We got a whole week left. But guys, if you haven't joined already, go join the Discord. Bunch of cool dirtbags in there. Uh, we have DBN3, which is our sister clan, and then DBN7, which is our, our third clan. So if you guys are interested in clan, join Discord, hit us up, uh, join the clan. And also leave a comment below. I will always like to see what, what, uh, what you guys want to see for the next videos. There's a suggestion box in Discord as well. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff coming up. I wrote a bunch of stuff down uh, while I was away um, for more Memorial Day weekend. So hope you guys had a, had a great weekend. Um, thank you for all those who served. And we will see you in another video soon. Probably going to be talking about Hydra uh, or doing this fusion event. So if you guys are interested in a uh, account takeover, we're doing one currently. Um, hit me up on that as well. Uh, quick um gear cleansing if you need that hey quick takes me an hour and you guys are good to go so guys appreciate it good luck and we'll see you in another video soon